My name is Brittany Talley. I'm the coordinator for Trauma Sensitive and Resilient Schools here at KCKPS. And I'm excited to walk you through our remote virtual office for student services. So first you'll navigate to the Kansas City, Kansas Public Schools website, kckps.org. From the homepage, you'll then navigate to the Parents and Students tab up here, and you'll click on Student Services. On the Student Services page, you'll find our virtual office. Here you'll find many of the resources available to you through Kansas City, Kansas Public Schools Student Services Department, including McKinney-Vento, Alternative Education Pathways, Attend to Achieve, Social Emotional Learning, Kids Zone, and Behavioral Health. You'll first notice that you can access the Kansas City, Kansas Public Schools website, social media, and even over here, the district calendar from this page. So if you ever get lost and you need to get back to the KCKPS homepage, just click on the logo and it'll take you right back there. You might also notice a large chalkboard over here on the wall. And on this chalkboard are links, clickable links, for you to find out more about the student services resources that you might need. If you'd like to get a hold of our director, Lisa Garcia Stewart, you'll just click on her name and that will open an email to Lisa. You can also do the same thing by clicking on our assistant director, Octavio Estrella's name here, to start an email to him. To access information about our 24-7 care line, click on the heart and hands and you will find more information about our care line and other resources. You can also access information about our Trauma Sensitive and Resilient Schools Initiative, Attend to Achieve, Alternative Services, our SEL website, selkck.com, and McKinney Vento Services. Additionally, many of these friendly faces down here are also clickable links to other resources. For example, if I clicked on Tracy over here, it would take me to our selkck.com website. Tracy Chauvin is our new social emotional learning coordinator for the district. So it has information about how you can access support, why social emotional learning is important, and at-home activities that you can do with your children to promote social emotional learning. By clicking on Lederic Collins with his large stack of books, you will find information about alternative education pathways. So if your student is interested in alternative services, a great way to get more information is to call student services or reach out to Lederic, and I will show you how to access his email address as well through here. Clicking on Naomi or Rosie will take you to information about Attend to Achieve or Truancy and chronic absenteeism. And clicking on our sweet friend Jessica over here will take you to information about our McKinney-Vento Homeless Program. So you can contact them from there or view the brochure with more information and see about the services offered to our students and families who are struggling with homelessness right now. By clicking on this little file cabinet, you will find a page full of important documents, including the new parent assurances form. So you can click here and it will take you right to that form for you to fill out for your students. You can also request an appointment with Rosie to complete an affidavit, find more information about McKinney-Vento and alternative services. You can also fill out the transcript request form on our website by clicking on transcripts and records. If you have a concern about your student's school, clicking on the Parent Concern Online form will take you to our Parent Response form. You complete the survey and a staff member will respond to you within 48 hours. Again, there's a link to the district calendar, and to go back, you'll just click back to the office. So now I'm going to show you how to request an appointment with student services. Due to COVID-19, all of our appointments are virtual at this time. So you'll check in on the iPad just like you would in person and click on schedule an appointment. If you click on any of these three up here, it will take you to their email so you can make a specific appointment with one of these staff members. If you click schedule an appointment, this means you're willing to meet with any member of student services who is available at the time of your appointment um, via Google Meet, um, which is a virtual teleconferencing platform. So I'm going to select a 30-minute appointment, 
and I want that appointment next Monday at 10 a.m. Now I'm gonna give my information. So I'm gonna use my email address and I'm gonna do my first name and my last name and then a good phone number for me. And I wanna make sure that I've typed in my email address and phone number correctly, as that's the information that student services will have to contact you in the event that there's a technology issue or they need to change the appointment time. I'll hit continue and then double check to make sure this is all right and confirm booking. And I can add it to either a Google Calendar, Outlook, or if you're using a phone, to your iCalendar. And when you get this confirmation in your email, it will have a link to the Google Meet appointment. You'll notice here where it says location that if you're trying to use your smartphone for the appointment, you will need to download the Google Meet app. Um, when student services and central office is open, we will have a Chromebook available for folks to use. But if you're just using your laptop or another device, you should be able just to click the link and join the Google Meet that way. And now I've made an appointment with student services. So now I can go back to the office. By clicking on this phone, you'll find contact information for a lot of these resources. This is the direct line for student services, so by calling this number, you'll get to one of our secretaries. If you need to get a hold of Jessica for McKinney Vento concerns, alternative services with Lederic, or Karina Hernandez um, for transcripts or records, these are all links to emails, including Naomi Tolentino in A to A. Again, a link to the district calendar and a way to get right back to the office. So the last exciting thing I wanted to show you is Leah McLaughlin right here. She is our new KidZone program specialist and KidZone has been working very hard to reach all of our students. So by clicking on Leah or her little suitcase down here, um, you will go to the KidZone office and they're working on their own virtual KidZone space that will be coming soon. So you've seen it all. You've seen everything um, in our virtual office, and we hope that this office allows you to access all of the resources that Student Services has to offer our students and families. Remember, you can find the virtual office on our website at kckps.org or go directly to kckps.org slash student-services. Thank you.